This transfer window, we've probably seen the biggest transfer in football history. Leo Messi has left Barcelona and joined PSG. Like, honestly, it's crazy to think that we're going to be seeing Messi wearing a shirt other than the Barcelona one and wearing a number 30 behind his back. It's, it's wild. And I thought this kind of makes it perfect to bring back a series we used to do a while ago, the FIFA experiment. So we're bringing it back. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing Messi's new PSG side up against Messi's old Barcelona team. Now, here's how this is going to work. We're going to be putting the two teams in a computer versus computer AI match and seeing which team comes out on top. Simple. That's the plan. Now, to make this possible, I've had to clone Messi literally and put him on both teams. I've managed to do that. So, yup, Messi is going to be playing for both PSG and Barcelona in this video if you guys are excited for the return of these experiment videos and want to see more make sure you drop a like in the video subscribe if you are new around here as well and let's get on with it all right guys let's start off by looking at messi's psg this team oh my god it's literally got everything. Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar. What on earth? I cannot wait to see them play together. Like, it's gonna be nuts. It might have already happened by the time you guys are seeing this video. I don't know if Messi's gonna make his debut this weekend, but my god, is that trio just insane. Messi, Mbappe, Neymar. And midfield, you've got Verratti and Wijnaldum. Literally the perfect players you probably want behind a front three like that. Di Maria as well. We've put him in midfield. He can play there. He won the Champions League with Madrid. Bernard and Hakimi. Hakimi's insane. Bernard's probably the weakest in the team. But yeah, it's Ramos and Marquinhos. Messi has got literally an, an, a super squad around him at PSG. Donnarumma, Euros winner in gold. Probably one of the best keepers, if not the best in the world right now. Messi's PSG is otherworldly right now. I mean, on the pitch, if they can gel, which I think they will, there's no stopping this team. You just can't. We're going to be rocking a 4-3-3 for this just to, you know, fit everyone in properly. Tactics-wise, this is what I'm rocking. Kind of like the default PSG tactics. We're going to have Marquinhos captain. Messi to take the free kicks from the right side and the long ones. Penalties, I wasn't sure whether to give it to Neymar. I think we Messi is going to be generous enough to give them to Neymar. I think we know that. So corners will be shared by the two. Mbappe, poor guy, doesn't get to take anything. But hey, when you've got Messi and Neymar, two of the most creative players in the sport, come on, like, yeah. And now, time to look at, of course, the Barcelona team. Now, I've kind of based this team around the season where they got embarrassed at Anfield. But, truth be told, that season was one of Messi's best ever seasons. He was simply sensational because... The stats, the numbers, he won the Ballon d'Or that year deservedly as well. It's just that the team let him down. The team was actually pretty decent though. Luis Suarez up top. We've also adjusted the overall for a few players here like Suarez, Rakitic and PK because they were too low rated. And back then they were a lot better. Suarez especially like was just unreal. Usman Dembele has slotted in, so we don't have MSN here. Maybe I should have put MSN, but I feel like having um, Neymar exclusive to that PSG team and just Messi common for both sides would give us a bit of a more interesting experiment. So yeah, Messi, Suarez, and Dembele in the front three. Here. Dion Busquets, Rakitic. Ha, <laughs> Rakitic. Yeah, don't even want to get into that. Alba Longley, Pique, and Sergi Roberto. That back line. How did Messi drag that back line to a Champions League semi-final? Messi was at his absolute peak, I feel, in that season where they got knocked out to Liverpool. So, yep, we've kind of based the team around that. Although they did play more of a 4-4-2, but just to keep things easy and simple, we've given them a 4-3-3 as well. And tactics-wise, Bars are being super aggressive, high depth, a lot of players in the box making runs and all, that's how they run. And, yep, Messi's everything here. Free kicks, captaincy, penalties, corners, he does it all. Also, a quick look the PSG bench. Imagine having this good amount of players on the bench. Icardi on the bench. Paredes, who should be a lot higher rated, by the way. Like, it's Kim Pembe as well. Like, this is a bit mad. For Barcelona as well, we've put Ansu Fati, Pedri, Coutinho, Griezmann all over there as well. So, yeah, both teams have got fairly decent benches. PSG is just way, way better though. Alright, guys, it's now time for the fun stuff. We're gonna get into the computer versus computer simulation. Have a bit of fun and see what happens in the game. Oh, by the way, I am you using a mod so we can get like the kits from this season like the new PSG kits are there look at them man look at them wow I swear PSG make the best kits in the business right now for Barca we're gonna just rock their new home kit which looks trash 
those shots should be banned from the sport. No cap. Let's actually have this game at the Wanda Metropolitano. It's a good stadium. Should be fun. All right, guys. You guys are going to see two Lionel Messis on the pitch. Where, where are they? Where is, where's the first one? Come on. Show me the two Messis. I want to see both Messis on the pitch tackling each other. How hilarious would that be? We've got Sergio Roberto. Come on. Pan it on the captain. To Stegen. And there you go. Leo... Yeah, brilliant. Okay, this should give us... There you go. There's one Messi in a PSG shirt. He should have number 30 on his back as well. The trio. Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar together. Oh, my days. We've put this in a Champions League final as well. Look at that. You guys can see in the background the Barca Messi as well. They're going to shake hands with each other. I, I kind of remember the Spider-Man meme where, you know... Yeah, you get me? Let's see on the pitch. There you go. Neymar. All right, let's do this. By the way, for those of you guys who don't know how this works, I am not going to be controlling any teams. We're just going to be watching and seeing what happens. Like, who would win? Messi's PSG or Messi's Barcelona? Let's see who would win, guys, in FIFA. By the way, I want to know your predictions in the comment section as well. If this would happen in real life, it can't. Obviously, we don't have two Messi's. Who would win? I'd love to know. Ah, <sighs> Seeing it number 30 right there on Messi's back. Just feels wrong. It like, yeah, it just 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 feels wrong. Alright, Neymar. My prediction for this is PSG is gonna win by a landslide. That front three on FIFA, especially, is illegal. Neymar and Mbappe are two of the most OP players on this game. Juan Bernard. Back for Wijnaldum. What's he gonna do? Bernard inside for Marco Varanti. Look at the positions he's occupying. Oh, Busquets did well, but Hakimi. Probably now a chance for PSG. Back for Verratti. Patience, but it's been all PSG. Barca can't get the ball. Busquets and all, none of them. Verratti again. Yeah, they're trying so much, Barca, but they just can't get the ball. Look at them move it around so easily. Neymar. He had to control that. Sergi Roberto. He was getting booed, by the way, at the camp now, and then he ended up scoring. It was hilarious. But here's De Jong. That was the last game against Sociedad. Now, De Jong. In a bit of space. Busquets. And now it looks like Barcelona attacking. But look at Verratti just rob the ball of, uh, of course, um, Busquets there. And Messi, cross-field pass for Neymar. Controls it well. Neymar versus PK. Back now for Verratti. This is PSG now. Just getting a feel of the game. But how is Verratti losing the ball to Rakitic? I need an explanation. Suarez, De Jong. Are they actually going to score? Messi, De Jong. Nah, this is a proper chance for them to score. Messi shoots. Donnarumma with a big save. Wow. That should have been 1-0 for Barcelona. And of course, it's the number 10 version of Messi almost putting his side into the lead. Donnarumma with a big save. That's what Donnarumma does. Is that Ronald Koeman? I think it is. Suarez. Now Rakitic. Messi. De Jong. Once again, it's now Barcelona dominating. What's up with PSG? I, I really don't know. Busquets. Sees De Jong, who's been big in this game so far. Tries to find Messi. Oh, he finds Messi. Messi shoots. What's happened here? Penalty? Nah. For what? I think Messi was offside. No, it's a free kick from the edge of the box. Wow. That was close. Could have easily been a penalty. I don't know for what. But Messi's Barcelona have a chance to take the lead. Free kick from about, literally, the box. Like, it couldn't have been closer. And it's now Messi's chance. And there's Messi in the wall as well. This is hilarious. Imagine if Messi ends up hitting Messi on the face. Wow. Messi's going to take it. And Messi puts it in. <laughs> this is insane. Wow. The number 10 Messi for Barcelona has just put that top left pins. You can't stop him. You really can't. Messi's Barcelona in the lead with a stunning freak... Look at Messi turn his back. I mean, the PSG Messi. Look at him turn his back. Look at this. He literally got scared of the ball. Oh, my God. It's in the back of the net. And, well, Messi's Barcelona somehow are, are in the lead. Come on, Neymar and Mbappe. you got to step things up. Wow, Barca might actually have another chance to score to Usman Dembele. This, I didn't expect this. I really didn't. I, I, yeah. Usman Dembele and Messi's Barcelona... Artunel up against the Galacticos PSG. How? Please explain it to me. People usually say the home team in these experiments come out on top always. But look at this. It's Barca, the away team here. And we're, we're, we're seeing them lead 2-0. 
Didn't expect this at all. Second half, PSG better step things up. Otherwise, this could get bad. Yeah, 2-0 Barcelona before halftime. Dembele this time with the goal. I didn't expect this, guys. This I thought it was going to be a big win for PSG. Or at least, like, a win for them. But, yeah, I didn't expect this. Second half, let's see what it brings. Oh, Di Maria. Wait, it's Hakimi? When did Hakimi pop in there? PSG get a goal back. Looks like we're going to have an interesting game after all. Hakimi... Out of nowhere, pops up in the box and ends up scoring. Wow, fair enough. And PSG are back in it. I want to see a replay on this because for sure I thought it was Di Maria there. Mbappe. Oh, Di Maria was behind. Hakimi, fair enough. And PSG just one goal away from getting like another goal and it'll be level. I don't want this to go to penalties. Or do I actually? I want this to go to penalties. Let's see if PSG can make the comeback. Oh, here we go. Neymar. PSG have woken up in the second half, guys. Oh, what a pass. Oh, what a pass to Wijnaldum. And now for Mbappe. That was unreal. That was unreal. It's 2 all. And sudden... Oh, what, what just happened there? I don't know what happened, but Mbappe celebrates Wijnaldum. But I know Wijnaldum got the assist, but did you guys see what Neymar just did? That threaded through ball was just outrageous Mbappe kept himself on bang gets the goal it's two all and we could easily be seeing pens but I think we're gonna see more goals instead Ooh, Paredes coming on one of Messi's new best friends after what happened at the Copa America well subbing off Buratti is a, is, is a choice let's just say that it's kind of hilarious how even in FIFA Barcelona are bottling big leads <laughs> like wow that's yeah FIFA is realistic I guess one thing's for sure the PSG version of Messi Hasn't really done all that much. We, it's been all about Neymar making those runs. Even Mbappe has been pretty dreadful, but it's just that tap in that he scored. But overall, pretty weird to see that it's like the fullbacks doing more for this PSG team. Oh, here goes Barcelona with Usman Dembele. What's he going to do? Still Usman. Backwards for Sergio Busquets. Can Barcelona finally do something? This second half has been awful for them. Jordi Alba. Waiting for passing options. Dembele now. Ah, he's too slow there. Back for Alba. They're just moving the ball around with no urgency right now. This is not going to work. Look at that. You can't play like that. Here's the number 30. Messi. It's just so weird seeing number 30 on Messi's back. Like, it'll never... I'll never get used to it. I really won't. Pedri has been brought on for Barca. Interesting. Pedri. Clever pass back in for Alba. What, what is Jordi Alba going to do now? Busquets. Can we see a goal from this Barca team? Is Busquets going to actually shoot? No way. Nah, he is not. Suarez. Rakitic. Now Suarez again. Rakitic. Space to shoot back for Suarez. Oh, come on. How has Suarez not scored that? Those are the chances he eats up alive. Oh, Donnarumma. What a save. What a save from Don Ruma. Fair enough. That was unreal from him. Extra time. Big chance for Barca. They bottle it. Messi's taking this corner though for them. Takes it shot as usual. Alba. Now Rakitic. Are we going to see a ball back in the box? Sergio Ramos with the block. Messi has been subbed off. No. You're not supposed to do that. The challenge is about him. They've actually subbed off Messi. Is at least the PSG version of Messi in... On the pitch. I think he is. Oh, Longley. Yes, I can't believe what just happened here. Suarez actually denied Longley the goal. Yo, we need a replay on this. Look at this, guys. This was going in. This was literally going in. And look what Suarez did. I swear, Suarez is a moron. Oh my god, I need a replay on this. What on earth just happened? Luis Suarez, you absolute idiot. What have you just done? Look at this, guys. Header is going in. It is going in. Nobody is stopping it. Nobody is stopping this header. It's going in. And look what Suarez does. <laughs> what is this game even? Ay, ay, ay. Oh my god. Barca just a bag of memes. That's how I'm feeling. Wow. Well, there you go. At least one Messi's on the pitch. Barca subbed him off. Embarrassing. Oh. Finally a chance. Alba. Ah, Jordi Alba. What was that? We're going to penalties. This is going to penalties. Okay, so no Messi for Barcelona for pens. Sergio Ramos taking the first one for PSG slots it right home. Now, Rakitic up against Donnarumma. 
Same position, 1-1. One, one. Neymar, one of the best penalty takers in the world, in my opinion, with that run-up and all. He's going to score. He's going to score. You just knew Neymar was going to score this. There was no doubt. Antoine Griezmann, not the best at penalties. Yeah, exactly why. Can Messi score as well, though? Messi. Messi misses. Wow. PK now. Puts it home. How did Messi miss as well? I have no idea. Now it's Angel Di Maria. What a penalty. Perfect. Literally perfect. Ansu Fati for Barca. It's saved by Donnarumma. Okay, so PSG score here. They're winning. And it's, of course, Kylian Mbappe to score the deciding penalty. Kylian Mbappe. Is he going to put this in? Misses. Unreal. Mbappe misses as well. What a penalty shootout. Sergio Busquets, the current Barca captain, is going to take this one now. He misses. It's all over. Messi's PSG is winning. Off the crossbar. And Messi's PSG does end up winning on penalties. Incredible scenes. Wow. To be fair, the Barca version of Messi did better with that free kick and all. And yeah, yeah, penalties, they bottled it, whatever. But yeah, that's the result. According to FIFA, a narrow win for Messi's PSG. And with that, guys, I think we're going to be wrapping up today's video. Super fun video to record. Had a lot of fun cloning and making two Leo Messi's. Putting them on each side and well, seeing what happens. And well, Messi's PSG ends up coming out on top. So for now, that's it for the video. If you guys want to see more of these experiment style videos, maybe once a week. We used to do them a lot back in like 2019 and 2020. As you guys know, this is what helped the channel grow a lot. So yeah, if you want to see more, let me know. Drop a like, subscribe and well, I'll catch you all next time. But peace.